We uh, start with breaking news for you this hour, straight from the French capital. The Louvre Museum is being evacuated after a soldier reportedly opened fire on a man. Let's go straight to our correspondent in Paris, so Charlotte Dubensky now joining us live here. Charlotte, Rory Suchet here in Moscow. Hope you can hear me okay. Can you bring us up to speed, the very latest that you know? Well, as you mentioned there, the Louvre Museum, which is the world's second most visited museum in the world, with around 9 million people visiting every year, that's around 15,000 every day, is being evacuated after what the Interior Ministry and police here in Paris are describing as a serious incident. Now, we are still waiting for confirmation of the details of what exactly happened, but there are several reports around what is this serious incident at the Louvre this morning. Uh, some reports suggesting that a soldier opened fire after a suspected attacker tried to enter the underground station carrying a suitcase. Other reports saying that the soldier opened fire after a suspected attacker, a man, had tried to attack the soldier with a knife. And there are also reports that uh, the man, as this incident was carrying out, uh, was happening, shouted the words, Allah Akbar. This is uh, an Islamic phrase which means God is great. Now there is a huge amount of panic in the city, particularly around the Louvre. As I mentioned, it is a massive tourist hotspot with around 15,000 people visiting every day to see some 35,000 objects and some of the most famous pieces of art in the world, including the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. And what we do know is that police have cordoned off the nearest metro station, which is underground at the museum, and they are are now trying to evacuate the entire area. Now, there are many people who are very concerned and looking for more detail about this incident. And there is panic, obviously, amongst tourists. As Paris has been hit on several occasions in the past few years. Big incidents starting in January 2015, Rory, when an Islamicist killed 17 people. This was in an attack at the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo and a kosher food shop in Paris. And then again in November 13th, 2015. There were those series of coordinated attacks in that night of terror on the city where 130 people died. Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, we know that the area around the Louvre is being evacuated. The Louvre itself is being evacuated after people who were there visiting were initially told to sit on the floor. We do know that this is a serious incident. That is how it's been described by the police and the Interior Ministry. But the exact details of what happened are still to be determined and whether it was uh, a man being stopped from entering the Louvre with a suitcase or whether uh, that man did attempt to attack a soldier. But we do know that the soldier opened fire and that there have been some people injured. We understand that it's the, the man in question and we also understand that there has been a, a small injury to the soldier as well. And we await more details and confirmation about this serious incident at the Louvre. Yeah, Charlotte, in fact, uh, we're getting uh, more information. As you're there in Paris giving us this live uh, report over the phone, we understand, according to the Paris police chief, uh, the Louvre attacker wielded a machete, uh, shouting, as you said, Charlotte, Alua Akbar. Uh, they say the attacker was carrying two rucksacks, but neither contained explosives. And the head of the Paris police now saying the Louvre attacker's remarks lead them to believe that he wanted to carry out a terrorist attack. Uh, Charlotte Dubensky will join you very soon for more updates. Thanks very much for that.